Hello everyone, my name is Tripper, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install emergency callouts to your LSVFR. The first thing you guys want to do is click the first download link down in the description below. At the time of recording this video, this mod is number 4 on trending. So make sure you guys do show love and support to the creator by leaving a nice review or a comment and going over here to look at the other mods that they've done. As always, you can come down here to view all the callouts. And as usual, the first thing you guys want to do is come over here to download this file. Agree and download and download the latest version available to you. If you guys do find this video useful, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to support me a little bit further, you can check out that blue join button. We can become a membership of the channel, which is monthly. And you can join from as little as 99p a month. And you get early access to all my videos. And the higher you go down in the tiers, the more you get. But anyway, once you guys have got this downloaded, what you guys want to do is open it on up. You'll see these are the typical files you get with the plugin. So... Is a typical way of installing it. You're going to want to find your GTA 5 main directory. For those of you guys on Rockstar Games and Epic Games, your GTA 5 main directory will be down in the description below. But for those of you guys on Steam, your GTA 5 main directory is going to be as followed. Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. And choose GTA 5 folder you want to mod. For me, it's in a custom directory, so it's over here. Get into your GTA 5 main directory and simply drag and drop these in. It's not going to ask you guys to replace it. I already installed it because I just wanted to check everything was fine with it. But for you, it won't ask to replace anything, so don't worry. Go into plugins, go into LSVDFR, find emergency callouts. This is going to be your configuration settings or your .ini file. This is where you configure the callouts options. So you can open this with anything that opens with like reading words and stuff like that. I like to use Notepad++. It makes using codes and stuff like that a lot easier, especially for 5M. But here you can enable and disable callouts. Here you can customize the measurements in the callouts. So obviously the bigger and smaller, the further away it is, and things like that. And in this case, the bigger the blip is. Here is the interactions and the key bindings for those interactions. So say if you went up to a ped and you wanted to ask them a question, and the question wasn't in within stop the ped, and it was within a callout, usually you would press Y, so I'd recommend keeping it as Y. Here you can end the callout. You don't really need to worry about much about that, but that is going to be using your end key. You can change that to whatever key you want, but you can also do that with stop the pad anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Here are the chances of things that will happen within the callouts. So that's the chance of damage when you inspect a property. So you can change that for a higher chance and a lower chance. If you lower the number, here is if you arrest a trespasser, so you can call the owner to ask him if he wants to press charges, and that's the chance of them wanting to press charges. Higher, the more chance they're going to do it, lower the less chance. Here, the last one is going to be when the suspect is trespassing and the owner requests. And that when the suspect in trespassing requests that you call the owner, this is a chance of him accepting your offer or his offer. So basically, that's basically like the, the actual owner of the property accepting the offer that the trespasser is okay trespassing. You can change that for higher and lower and it's just really, really useful. So you guys can customize all the outcomes in your videos. Say if you're doing LSPDFR videos, it's really, really cool. And even if you're not, you do change. You can change around. Obviously, the calls, it does make it a little bit more exciting. And sometimes it can get a little bit repetitive. But that's a really, really cool feature. And that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, in the beginning of the, oh my God, in the, beginning of the video. I don't know why that was so hard to say. And check out all my other videos down below in the little box on the side depending if you're on mobile or, or uh, pc or whatever the hell you're watching it on but check out all my other videos you can check out my lsbfr playlist and i've done a bunch of other games as well including microsoft flight simulator and assetto corsa but other than that thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers and goodbye